Hey everyone, how's it going tonight? Hope you guys are doing well today. I am ready to finish off biological science. Now we're gonna have a couple things that we need to do before that. We're gonna have to build out some experimental biomass and experimental, experimental biocultures. Now what I found out is that I, when you run this at 100%, it gives you like incredibly wrong numbers because it produces a ton of extra experimental biomass because you get some back basically from these experimental biocultures. Um, so, or maybe it is from this recipe here. Like, let's go look at this, right? So from this, uh, we have to make experimental biomass. It takes biocultures and you get five to 10 experimental biomass, five biomass and uh, some contaminated bio sludge, contaminated cosmic water. Um, and then from this, we also, need, so we also need to make um, some experimental biocultures, which is nutrient vats, extract, experimental genetic data and bio sludge. And so, uh, I don't know why, but when you run this at 100%, the numbers are just like insanely skewed and I don't know why. So you need to run it at like 6%, um, for these numbers to actually make any sense. Like you still get three extra experimental biomass somehow, which I don't know why that is. Um, and we may need some more in the future, but all of our building counts stay the exact same. Um, I was thinking that I was gonna have to do like an extra building down here and stuff like that, which I don't have to do. So I'm actually gonna tear that up. I literally started recording before I realized that like you don't have to do all that stuff and I had inadvertently made a bunch of stuff I did not have to make. Um, so that is really cool. Um, I'm glad I don't have to do that. So yeah, all of this stuff is staying almost the exact same and literally all we are gonna have to do is build out buildings, a growth facility and a genetics facility for this stuff and then we'll be able to go merrily on our way. So we're gonna build our first building right over here, which is gonna be the growth facility, I think, which is gonna do these cultures, right? No, no, we're gonna do the genetics facility first. So we have to make another genetics facility, which is fine. Um, I don't think I can handcraft it, can I? Yeah, no. Uh, all right, so we're gonna have to go grab some stuff for that really quickly. Let's just go do that right now. Um, I don't have a building, do I? I don't see a building. I think I'm just blind. But yeah, I don't. I don't think we. I don't think we need one. Um, so yeah, let's go grab the things that we need for that. Um, I know we need. Uh, let's see. We need this stuff. What else do we need for it? Glass and processing units. Okay, glass is here. Boom, boom. Processing units. Boom. And then we have. One of these guys will go like this, go like this. Boom, we've got our genetic facility. Okay, very cool. Um, so we can work on that. So this genetics facility is gonna do uh, the biocultures that are experimental. It's gonna take nutrient vats, extract, and experimental gen genetic data, which actually maybe we should make the experimental genetic data first, right? So the experimental genetic data is, oh shoot, I need another one. Nice, why Why did I not have another one ready? That's okay. So this is gonna go like right here. It's gonna do experimental genetic data. And literally what we're gonna do for this is go boom, 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 right like here, I think. Just like that. Bing, bang, easy. And literally that's all we need to do. And we'll output it over here. And we do need to power it up, of course, which we could just do like this. And that should be plenty. That's our genetic data. Now I do have to make another one of these. Shoot, so let's fly down there and do that once more. I can't believe I didn't, I don't know what I was thinking, man. I don't know why I didn't. Is there any other buildings I need? I think I have everything else I need. Like I've got thermodynamics facilities. I've got another growth facility. I think we're good. So literally all I need to do is just another one of these. What am I missing? I was missing something for it. Ah, just those pesky, pesky freaking low density structures. I'm always missing low densities when I'm trying to build these buildings. What? 
I'm still short. I'm always short whenever I'm trying to build anything. All right, there we go. All right, so that's another genetics facility. And like I said, that one is gonna be doing these experimental biocultures. And then those are gonna feed directly into a growth facility doing the experimental biomass, which is gonna be a little bit confusing because it like loops back into itself somewhat. So this is gonna do these, right? And we do need to split because we're gonna have these guys going down here-ish, right? Um, hmm, how do we wanna do this? <sighs> so the rest of these are gonna go right into there, right? We also need extract, which is right here. So we're just gonna go boom, boom. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing things and things are happening. I think I can go right in. No, what am I doing? Why did I do that? Right there. Is it doing this. Okay. We have nutrient vats that I can get rid of, but I also do need to grab nutrient vats from down here. Uh, so how the frig is this going to work? Hmm? We're going to have nutrient vats come out right here. So it's going to get split. Uh, it'd be good if I did belts the correct direction. And this is, of course, a giant mess in here, but we are going to solve the issue that we need to solve, which I think we just did. There we go. Okay, that's going to be nutrient vats. We also need to bring up biomass. Biomass is, oh, biomass is already being brought up that, this direction, nice. So that makes that easy. Right here, this is gonna be our nutrient vats. Bing, bang, boom. Right here. Just run those across and there we go. That's nutrient vats. Last thing is gonna be bio sludge, which is right over here. And I do have some pipes that are extra that we can run over this direction and we can just go like this boom that is bio sludge check it out and we should be making now some experimental biocultures now we are going to have to um well first of all we are going to have to speed these guys up more um but we are going to have to deal with these blank data cards which actually this belt right here is blank or junk data cards, right? So we're going to say this is going to be junk data cards. And this is going to be not junk data cards. Uh, not that either. It's going to be this. I don't know why that's happening. There we go. That's fine. Be good if I put that going the correct direction. And we'll just use a splitter there. And then we'll just jump over that later. Yeah, we can put these guys down here, boop, boop, boop. Those will get taken away. Now, um, so we've got some experimental biocultures. Now these guys are gonna feed into a growth facility, which I have one more growth facility. We'll put it like right back here. How much of this do we need? We need 0.3. I'm wondering if I should do a second growth facility. Like if we look at these future things, right? Ah, like radiation exposure, bioelectric, like, like what does significant biomass take? Yeah, it takes more of this, but it, it won't take very much. Again, this is gonna be like 6% maybe, or like 5%. So if we do this, it needs an extra 20 biomass. If we're using 0.3 of the building, like will it need, will we really need another one? No, I don't think so. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, um, I think we're I think we're all good here. Yeah. Boom. All right, that's fine. Basically, I just want to know if I needed to do a second building of this doing experimental biomass. We will leave this area open here just in case we need to, but I don't think we really will. Um, all right, so we are going to need nutrient gel up here which is gonna kinda suck, cause I don't think I've done it yet. I have not done it yet. 
Um, hmm. What is the best way to get a freaking pipe out of here? Like, I guess we can go like right through there. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll go here. This thing will start working again, which is cool. This will go right up here. And just go like this. And I don't think those pipes will merge. Very nice. Okay. And then do I have any long pipes? I have one long pipe that kind of helps us out quite a lot. Uh, ugh. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. That is nutrient gel hooked up. Sick. And then we just need to do this guy. Uh, do we need this for anything else? I don't think so. So I think this can literally just go... Wait, how does this work again? You get 5 to 10 biomass, ex or experimental biomass, and you get 100, or 0 to 5 regular biomass, and then you get contaminated bio sludge. Okay, so this is going to go here, I guess. And then this will go here, here, boom, boom, boom. Okay, I think that that is everything. Now we do need to deal with outputs here, so go one, two, one. All right, and then we're just gonna start filling stuff in. Basically, let's see, we need to get, how are we going to do? I keep like ending up in situations where I like need pipes to be easier to, or like more accessible than they actually are. All right, we're gonna, oops. We're gonna go like up here. Uh, and then we're gonna go like this. Mm. And then I guess, I guess we'll just go like this, right? Like nine, nine, three, one, one, two. Okay, that's that. that. That one's not so bad. The harder one is actually gonna be Okay, I guess we'll just do this, right? Like, we'll just go here. Why not? And then we'll go underground. And then we'll go seven, like, oh man. How's this gonna work? Nine, that does not work. Five, that is not gonna work. We're just gonna do an underground like this, I guess. Whatever, it's fine. And then we'll go like this, here, and there. Okay, cool. That'll work. It's gonna. It's a little messy, but it'll be fine. All right, and then the last thing we need to do is deal with the output of this, which we're gonna have to loop back into the biomass somehow. So where does biomass come out? Biomass comes out here. We're gonna have to do like input priority here, right? And then we'll have biomass freak. We'll have it come across like this, I guess. I love that you can just do that. Like that makes things so much easier. Oh, this can go right here. Uh, literally one off, You've gotta go here. Boom, just like that. All right, does that fix our problem? I think so. So we'll have biomass come out here. That's biomass, and then we have experimental biomass. <laughs> okay, now we now we need just need to do the other like tech cards, right? So we got we've got this one done. We need to do this one, which is gonna be biocombustion resistance, which is done in a thermodynamics facility, which we'll just do like right over here. Biocombustion resistance. And you get a 50% chance of getting experimental biomass back, right? So what we're going to do is this is going to be experimental biomass. And then we're going to have a splitter here again with input priority on this side. And so things like this, um, right, we'll, we'll do it like this, okay? So we'll have biomass, I guess, come in down here. Okay, then we need to deal with the contaminated bio sludge, which is gonna be here. Just 
like this. Do do do. Contaminant bio sludge. We're also gonna have to grab this guy right over here. Shoot, this sucks. Uh, we can just do some long pipes here, I guess. Like 15, nine, underground. There we go. <laughs> it's a little messy, but it'll work. All right, so that's uh, gonna do that. We also need to get blank data cards over there somehow. You know what? I think I'm gonna have a second blank data card station because I'm lazy and it's gonna be easier than trying to deal with all of that. So we'll have blank data cards. We've got a science station, which is fine. So we'll just have a blank data card station go right over here. And so that'll bring in more blank data cards. And we'll see what happens with that. Hopefully it's fine. All right, blank data cards right here. Let's set up the rest of these buildings really quickly so we can like see what's up and then we'll go from there. So we need to do a biochemical resistance data and we need to do biomechanical resistance. It's just gonna take resistance, okay. <laughs> this is so confusing, dude. All right, so we did that. Okay, we need one of, the, not these, we need one of, where are the big guys? We need one of these guys. Let's get rid of this here. Um, where did these go? There we go. Okay. <laughs> so to do this, we need this guy. We can put it maybe right here, actually, because this needs this, right? Yeah, we also need lubricant. God dang it, dude. Ah, lubricant, lubricant, lubricant. Where is that? There's also lubricant here and here, huh? All right, we're gonna do lubricant coming up this direction. Maybe like right through here. Okay, cool. Our train just brought us a, bl a bunch of blank data cards, which is sweet. And let's see, we're gonna have to do underground belts here. And then we can just go like this. Oh, frick, frick. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was almost a big oopsie. All right, and then, yeah, that's just wasteful. Um, okay, so this also outputs um, that. So what we need to do is we do need to do this. And then we also need to do this somehow. Uh, let's see, can we do like a little guy? Like a little three. And then we're gonna go like this, like this, this, and that should hook everything up satisfactorily and then we do need to do so what we're going to do here is we're going to output this is going to be experimental biomass so is this then these will join together okay there we go all right, so that's gonna like loop back into itself, right? Let's power all that up. What am I missing here? Oh, just lithium, okay. Let's see if the rocket is ready to come. I think it probably is. It probably has got a ton of crap on it that I don't need, but that's fine. It does, uh, let's launch on green signal when, or when cargo full. Also, I already deal with this stuff so we can get rid of those filters. Cool, so that should start stuff kind of working again. Um, and we should start to actually get stuff, you know, come, kind of coming in here. Um, now this biomechanical data, we do need to deal with that 
Um, how are we gonna do that? I don't even know. All right, I guess it has to be like this. So we're gonna have to go like, underground, and then we're gonna have to split, and then split again and go alpha priority here is biomechanical data, right? And then just go from there, I suppose. And then let's see, we'll just have this come right down here, go like this. Oh, I'm going the wrong way on all this stuff. That's fine. Okay. Just like that. That should work. I also would like to grab some more of these guys. All right, then we need to speed these two Johans up. And we also need to do this guy like right here, which will speed them all up. There we go. And finally, we can do this outputting Ugh. Uh, biomechanical resistance. Actually, let's do that right here. Biomechanical resistance data. And then this guy can do his biocombustion. So that's three of the cards. We have one card left, which is gonna be done in one of these guys. And that is biochemical resistance data. Now we are gonna have to do vitalic acid, which we haven't made yet. So we're gonna have to bring that up somehow. Hmm. Not sure how. Um, we're gonna do this as well. So this is gonna do a very similar thing. Um, let's see, we can do junk data cards here, which is easy. This doesn't do junk data cards right, and this doesn't do it either. Yeah, okay. Easy peasy, this is gonna come right down here, join in with this. We're all good on that. Now we've got our blank data cards right over here that we can basically just like run along the front here, like maybe right here. There we go. And then we'll just kind of split off go like this, go like that and be all good. Uh, here, I suppose, we'll just do a long-handed inserter. I don't think it's gonna go fast enough for it to be an issue. Right? Oh, wait, this doesn't even need it. Anyways, this does though, right? Yeah, this does. But this is like the end of the line here anyways, so it doesn't matter. Okay, then this is gonna come all right, we need to <laughs> we need to like combine all of our all of our stuff. So this is gonna come right down here. Go right like this. Get joined in. We've got two more cards there, and then we have our last two cards here. This is gonna do the biochemical, and we'll do this. These two can come right into here, get joined together. No, stop it. <laughs> okay, I've got tons of stuff in here, that's fine. And then I think we just need one research server doing this, or we need two. We do need two doing it. Two research servers, very similar to this. We can just like kind of copy this setup right here. And yeah, that looks good. Uh, just gonna go like this and like this. There we go. I think that that is all we need to do. I just need to grab these research servers. Um, and I also need to make vitalic acid. So what is vitalic acid made with? Let's go vitalic acid like this. It's made with vitamin extract, nitric acid. So we do need to make it back on novice and send it up. And I'm wondering if we can just do that in a delivery can since we need so little of it right now. If we come back to novice, let's head over here. 
Um, hmm. So we've got all of this nitric acid. Wait, it's nitric acid, right? What am I doing? Yeah, nitric acid and vitamin lynch extract. Okay. Let's go like this, I guess. And then we're gonna have to barrel it somehow though. Let's let's do it down here. Why don't we give ourselves some room? Because I don't know how much we're gonna need of this in the future, right? So we're gonna go here. Alright. And this is gonna be doing vitalic acid. Boom boom. Um, I would I will productivity these at some point, just not yet. It's fine. Okay, we'll go here. And then this will just bring down here like that. And then last but not least, oh, you know what we can do? So we can do this and then we can do insert, insert, just like this. Grab one of these, put it right here. Okay, we're gonna do like 30, I don't know. Okay, and then last but not least, we are gonna do um, a barreling facility because that's how we're gonna send it up, right? So there is what we need right here, just like this, go like this, go like this, go like this, and we'll go out and in. This is going to, as we are noting, obviously, uh, not empty it. It's going to be filling it. And we're going to request. So this makes two, night, two vitalic acid. All right. Let's just uh, copy this guy. For now, we'll productivity this in the future. I can't really like insert them from here, unfortunately, which is, it is what it is. He's gonna bring a bunch of barrels over here and we'll fill a bunch of them up. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a delivery cannon, I think right over by the Vitalic Acid, because why not? Uh, maybe not that close. Let's set it up like right here and we need um, a receiver right here. And then we're gonna need one of these. Can we do it? Can we do it? A barrel of vitalic acid. No, we can't do it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Shoot, so we have to we have to actually ship it up, which kind of stinks. Alright, so I'm just gonna have to ship it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for um, all of our items to be sent up, and I'm gonna grab some research servers. Once I'm done with all of that. I'll have you meet me back here and we will finish off biological science together. All right, everyone, we're back here and we just got another shipment of things. We've got some vitalic acid here. So we're gonna throw vitalic acid into this warehouse right here. Vitalic acid barrels, very nice. And we're not gonna even be getting that many because we, we actually don't need that much vitalic acid. Um, and then we're just gonna go vitalic acid barrels here so we, we really don't have that many vitalic acid barrels but um, just enough to get us what we need now let's see how we're gonna do this um, this we are gonna go like so and again I'm gonna try and throw all the stuff I can into here these are not doing these these are doing tier 2 um, and then what we're going to do is just have this come right like this. And then for getting the vitalic acid through here, I think we can just go like this, I guess. Wait. Wait, what the heck is going on? This is going here, right? It's going here. It's going here. Okay. And then we can have this guy right here. Ooh, that is very unfortunate. OK, 
Okay, like this. This is gonna unbarrel vitalic acid. We're gonna have an active provider here, drop for um, for our empty barrels. And this is gonna go right like this into here. This is gonna get rotated. There we go, that's vitalic acid, um, kind of. We actually just need to get this over here now. Just like that. There we go, that's gonna be vitalic acid as soon as that gets hooked up. Uh, we do need to do chemical gel as well, I'm just realizing. Ugh, this is a little bit painful because chemical gel is literally all the way down here and nothing is really close by. Ah, this is like, uh, it's not great, but it's not bad, I suppose. Um, okay, we can like kind of get through like right here, I guess. Just like makes things really difficult. So this is gonna go like this. And I guess we're just gonna jump into satellite mode so we can just place it all. Um, let's see, this can go right here. And where on earth is this gonna go, dude? I guess right here. Whatever, this is like this. This is, like I said, this is really painful. And then this can go like that. Okay, is that correct? Yes, and then we can, I guess grab this guy. Nice, that fits perfectly. And then how on earth are we gonna get through here? I guess just like that. Nice, that actually is not so bad. Uh, we are gonna have to do one underground here, but that's fine. It's gonna go like this. Uh, and then we just need some straight pipes right there. Throw that stuff in there, and then this we... Oh yeah, we don't even have it researched yet. We don't even have T2 science researched. Because we don't have bio scrubbers and stuff yet. So we still have a little bit of T1 science that we have to do anyways. We just need some insight to do that. Um, so as soon as this all gets placed, which it looks like the bots are on their way to do them right now, this will start working, uh, except for the fact that we don't have this down there. Holy crap! Dude, this thing has so many inputs and outputs, it's insane. Okay. Okay, there we go. Input, input, input. I think we got everything. Oh no, we don't have all the outputs. My goodness, dude, this is crazy. Okay, this needs these inputs. Uh, let's see, can we keep, do a really long one? No, not quite. Gotta do one of these, it's fine. Can't do one of those either. So let's just do it like this. One, two. Still too long. Like this, one, two, three. Okay, now possibly. Now possibly. <laughs> okay, these are making catalogs, which is good news. Uh, oh, we need to split this. My god. <laughs> My god. Oh wait, we need to do it here. Okay, okay. That is actually everything now. This is gonna be making, oh my god, it's working. I think. These are all working? Except for this, why is this not working? No nutrient gel. Uh, I think we're just not making enough nutrient gel right now. Yeah, I gotta take this thing off so that like it doesn't hog all the nutrient gel. I think we just need to like make these all T4s, but we don't have T4s at the moment, so just have to deal with it. Um, hypothetically, we should be making science fast enough. It's just gonna be a matter of exactly how that ends up working out. Um, but that being said, we should have science coming now, which is good. And then the last thing we need to do is we need to select this guy 
we need to add a station for this pickup. Go here, add wait condition, time pass 30 seconds. And I think maybe this is working now. We've got science coming in here. Oh, let's turn this off really quickly. We need to do this. Um, yikes, where am I supposed to put biological science, huh? Surely we can just like, I, no, that's not what I want to do. I want to do this. Okay, surely that's enough, and we can just save, like, I don't know, we'll have to figure stuff stuff out for the rest of this. But I think that that is good. And we've got more biological science coming in here. Let's just see, we got, like, 86 there. It's like, a decent amount, right? Can I throw stuff in here, please? Get rid of stuff out of my inventory that I don't want. Thank you very much. Get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. Um, we don't have second biological science yet. However, let's jump in here, shall we? We're going to go back to science drop with over a hundred science. And finally, I think we're actually done with like almost all of biological science. We just have to finish off a few items to get the T2s actually working. But if we like come over here. It unloads the biological science. It brings it over. We go into research. I haven't touched any of this biological science. And we can do this followed by this, right? And I think that that will get us unlocked um, T2 quite quickly, actually. Uh, first things we can do while this is working is we can actually work on those bioscrubbers. So if we come in here, how many bioscrubbers do we need? 216 a minute. If we do that, this is gonna be these. We just need one point, we just need two machines doing these, right? Oh, uh, we do need a decent amount of vitalic acid. Do need like 20 machines doing it, wow. Glad I left room down here for this. So I'm gonna have to do some work on that, but as you can see, we basically have biological science though. We're just gonna have to work on some of the finer details of um, tier two, but this is gonna open a whole host of new um, possibilities for us, which uh, we will be starting with next time. Um, but not only do we get to do bio upgrades, but we should be able to do a Spidertron very shortly here. So I'm very excited for that. Um, so that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. We've got a lot of researches coming up that we're going to be unlocking new tiers of things, new prod mods, uh, so on and so forth. That's going to have to be next time, though. Thank you for joining me today. Um, if you guys would leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. It really supports me, and I do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.